Hi guys, this is Kalishan. Today we're gonna make my <laughs> biggest picture ever. Uh, this is part one of two. So today we're gonna do some planning, a little bit of drafting and a lot of inking. I got this commission recently after finishing this trippy space fish A4 sized aquarelle that gladly has happened to get way more popular than I expected. I wish I had recorded it by the way. And the customer, he does a lot of fly fishing and he wanted something very similar yet of course unique and personal for him. This is a normal A4 paper, uh, a first draft some ideas like what I wanted to do. A lot of things have changed but some things are still the same. The big dog, uh, Canis Majoris, was there from the beginning and is actually the customer's or like based off the customer's old dog which was a Shepardor, like a German Shepherd Labrador mix and um, I really like that the heart is the biggest star or it's placed kind of where the heart is and the star itself is also called Canis Majoris and it's kind of a red giant which fits very good color-wise. Uh, we're of course out in space <laughs> as usual with my fish paintings. I wanted to make everything upside down first so it's kind of like a reflection somehow but I changed my mind later. Uh, some things are still there like the big crab for example which is also the star significant cancer. I kind of early came up with the idea that I wanted an eel or some kind of fish circling a, some kind of orb, like a, like a planet, like a ring around Saturnus or something. Uh, I kept this idea but I made the planet much bigger and centered it and I had uh, much, much more fish circling it as well. So I'm on the way home right now with the biggest paper ever and that's actually a limited description because it was really the biggest paper they had in the store. Uh, not only this store, but in every store I called it was the biggest uh, measurement of aquarelle paper. It's 100 times uh, 70 centimeters. Actually, I wanted a paper that was 100 times 80, but this will just have to do. The biggest drafting paper ever. I think it, it took me like 16 A4 papers to, to put this big draft together. It's falling down really easily. I don't really have a proper surface for this kind of painting, so if I know myself, I'm gonna get pissed off so many times. Yeah, pissed off was a pretty accurate prediction because it already moved from my working table to my sofa table to the kitchen island, and now it's at my dining table, and that is actually the best because I can get around everywhere.
working I just wanted to show you guys how rich this actually is in detail like this is a pretty small fish uh, I don't really know what I'm doing it's gonna be a lot of little tiny lines yeah I'm totally gonna die to detail death maybe it's the best way to die Our painting is still far from finished, but let's take a better look at what we have done so far. As you can see here in the middle, it's kind of a it's kind of a um, invisible circle or more like a planet that the fish are circling around. Um, this, this liquid here with a kind of yellowish tone to it is some kind of quick drying rubber or latex and it's called the uh, art masking fluid. And it's to, um, to cover parts that you want completely white when you're using aquarel later. So 
just in case so the colors doesn't bleed in on this particular area. I kind of want this fishing boy here to meld together with the planet. You might notice that I did the same thing here on the crab, like these little dots. And uh, that's actually because this is a part of Cancer. Same goes for the big dog in the top here, who resembles Canis Majoris, which is also the name of the actual painting. Looks like we're about done here, actually. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna add a little bit more in the corners, but I'm not sure. Maybe it will just be too much. Looks a little bit empty up there, but don't you worry, I got plans for that. But that's for the next part, aquarelle.